So MKB Bank itself is a traditional bank, over 65 year old uh, history in Hungary. It has its strengths in corporate banking, private banking and commercial banking. And yet in Hungary and also in the region, we see that the digital customer is underserved. There are solutions for the digital customer and niche solutions really, but there isn't a platform solution to really attract the digital customer. So what we're doing is we're going to focus on our, con uh, on our traditional bases to drive further profits and growth, but we are also making a strategic shift to focus on the digital customer and we are going to go after this market like nobody else has in our home market. Uh, obviously, the enablers of that are one is to, to have a good management with a strong vision. The other enabler is to look at the IT architecture and change it and drive change through the IT architecture change, which includes the core transformation, enabling all sorts of things like digital products, digital platforms, plus partnership with fintech companies and other companies. And we've started that this year. We are already seeing some of the growth potential, but we believe that over the next couple of years, we can really drive that home and take a large portion of the market share associated with the digital customers. The three key areas are, are one is cultural change. So if you have a bank which is over 65 year old, but I believe the whole industry actually, if you look at how banking worked in the past, you have to prepare it for cultural change or cultural adaptation. Uh, for us, that means looking at how we did things, looking at how we approached processes, looking at the customer bases we served, and making sure that our corporate culture embraces innovation and goes after this new market. That leads into the second pillar of what we need to do, which is not to fear strategic shift. So if you have a bank like MKB, which has a traditional history in corporate banking and in private banking, doing personalized service of customers, you would think that it may be a far leap or a far jump to go into actually serving the digital customer. Actually, in our case, it is not uh, because, as I said before, the, the customers are underserved and we have a very good youthful management and also a very good ownership structure to enable us to go after the digital market. But as I say, the second pillar of what we need to do is not to fear strategic shift or strategic reallocation of resources. And then the third pillar for us is to have a bold look at the IT architecture, which includes the core transformation as well, but it also uh, leads us into the whole IT architecture, which is a key driver of change in the digital space, in the fintech partnership space, in the platform space. You can't look at your IT architecture as fixed and you can't just tinker with it, we believe, from the outside. You actually have to take a fresh look at the whole picture. And this is what we were able to do and, and we believe that it's going to drive us um, um, multiple benefits in the near future. Before we made the choice of who to partner with in terms of core banking transformation, we looked at our as-is processes and as-is product portfolio. We went through a rigorous process to define what we want it to be, uh, which not only included the product portfolio, but it looked at uh, uh, our key processes in terms of lending, customer onboarding, and all the rest. And we defined what we wanted to do. Then we invited a number of companies to, to tender for uh, implementing a new core banking system or upgrading the current version. And the best fit, to be honest, from a product perspective turned out to be Oracle from a technical perspective. In addition, throughout the process of uh, choosing uh, the provider, it turned out that the most credible solution from a delivery perspective uh, was definitely Oracle. And we are, our project is a very ambitious one. We're implementing the new core banking system within 18 months for a universal bank, which is which is quite ambitious, I can tell you, for our own teams as well as for the Oracle teams. But it seems to me that the delivery uh, handled by Oracle and the delivery by our own teams is actually living up to our expectations, so we made the right choice.